Hi everyone, today in this video, I will be doing unboxing for two leading M2M 3G 4G IoT gateway DWM312 and DWM313. Both models support dual SIM, meaning able to do WAN failover, provide WAN redundancy to your devices such as multi WAN routers and firewall. And also, the router provides secure VPN and WAN connectivity to all your IoT devices like ATM, digital signage, CCTV, vending machine, and even robots. On top of this, DWM comes with Wi-Fi and RS-232 and is best for IoT integration. So, let's get started. Okay, let's do the first unbox, uh, which is the model DWM312. Okay, from the label itself, you'll be able to find out the MAC address of the device and also IMA of these uh, M2M devices. Okay, so what you have inside there, you have all the warranty and safety information, a quick setup guide, okay, and then one unit of the DWM312. You have the cover to cover up the SIM card to prevent people from um, taking out the SIM card. Also, there's two, um, there are two LTE antenna. One RJ45 cable and uh, power adapter with a plug. Okay, for this DWN312, it has a dual SIM slot, allow you to put in two SIM card. With this DWN312, okay, it comes with the uh, LED indicator light, power, internet, okay, uh, LTE signal. Okay, it even tell you the strength of the signal as well. Okay, if you look at the front part, there are two SIM card slot, which is SIM A and SIM B. This is a two LTE antenna um, RPSMA connector. At the back, there is one LAN port and a power socket. Okay, for you to plug in your power adapter. Okay, so for the power adapter, it comes with the plug. and the two antenna that you can screw install on the uh, DWN312 okay let's start with the uh, first M2M -M device, DWM312. Okay, at the side of the sticker, you will be able to find the model number. Okay, some of the uh, important information like MAC address, IMA. Okay, is all uh, printed on the um, the side sticker as well as the uh, hardware version and also the firmware versions. <clears throat> so let's open up. First of all, you will have this um, warranty information and some documentation. Okay, like quick setup guide. And then one unit of the uh, DWN312. Just in case uh, you don't have the, uh, you throw away the box. If you want to find the MAC address and also the IMA number, okay, it's stated at the back of the devices. Okay, and um, it's also come with one of these uh, SIM card cover, okay, to cover up the SIM card prevent people from taking up the SIM card. Okay, so let's take a close look at the device itself. Um, first, it will be the power light. Okay, second, this will be the internet connectivity. Once you have the internet, okay, it will show you a blue light. Third, it will be a network type LED. Fourth, 
this will be the uh, signal strength okay so uh, it also come with the wall mount um, bracket here okay you can just simply uh, screw it on the wall okay we will give it a screw <clears throat> you have one um, lamp port fe lamp port and one um, 5 volt dc uh, power connector okay for you to connect to the power adapter and uh, two sma connector is for your lte antenna so let's see what other things okay the power adapter okay come with the uh, connector so you can just install it and two um, high gain LTE antenna one RJ45 okay so basically this is how you install okay you can screw in the LTE antenna inside Okay, as you can see, there are two um, micro SIM card slot. It allows you to plug in two SIM cards for fail over purpose. And then once you put on the um, SIM card, what you can do is screw this cover to cover it up to prevent other people from uh, taking out the SIM card. okay so we also come with the uh, optional accessories okay such as the uh, um, external detachable antenna LT antenna okay also oh, just let me show you okay it looks um, like something like this okay what you can do uh, this is a magnetic base okay so you can for those uh, projects that require external antenna, okay, you can get one of these uh, optional antenna. You can screw it on it. Okay, you can use both of them. If let's say there is required to mount this or install this on the uh, dim ray, okay, we also have this uh, optional uh, dim ray clips that you can install at the back. Of the device both side just simply click on the dim ray okay and then what happens if you need um, the places they don't allow you to put the uh, use the power adapter what you can do is um, for this optional DC connector you can just connect to it you can just directly connect your DC power to power it on Okay, now let's take a look on DWM313. Same like DWM312, you can find the device information at the side of the box, like model number, MAC address, and even the IMA number. Okay, let's open up the box. Okay, you will have one unit of the DWN313 other standard accessories like QIG network cable power adapter a micro USB to RS232 cable two LTE antenna and one Wi-Fi antenna. Take a look on the device itself. At the top of the uh, DWN313, you will see all the indicator light, okay, which make you easier to see the status of your device. At the side, you will be able to see two SIM card slot, allow user to slot in two micro SIM card for failover purpose. 
there are three SMA connector here two is for the LTE and one is for the Wi-Fi so you can use it as a 4G public hotspot at the other side of the device there are two LAN ports one of them is configurable to WAN which allow you to connect to an Ethernet WAN for WAN to LTE failover meaning for DWN313 support two types of failover one is LTE1 to LTE2 WAN failover and the other one is Ethernet to LTE WAN failover At the side of the LAN port, there is a micro USB port that allows you to connect to a RS-232 cable So let me uh, connect and show it to you Okay, this micro USB port that allows you to connect the RS-232 cable that come with the device for different types of IoT integration purposes like smart electricity or water meter traffic lights or other machine that has RS-232 port for integration lastly for the power inlet is for the power adapter to power up the device alternatively you can also get the optional DC connector if you require a direct DC input Let's come to the antenna part. So since there is three antenna that come with it, okay, two of them are for LTE, one is for the Wi-Fi. Please make sure you connect the right antenna to the right SMA connector. So these two are LTE. And the middle one is for the Wi-Fi. So this is how it looked like. That's all for DWN313. Okay, now you have seen uh, both device, DWN312 and DWN313. Okay, they are only a pan size device. It make it a lot more easier to fit and install inside the machine like ATM, vending machine, digital signage, and etc. With the IP30 equivalent housing, it can work in any tough environment. In conclusion, both models support wide range of 4G frequency and give a blazing fast LTE Cat4 speed that up to 150 megabit per second. With those seen for failover or when to LTE failover like DWN313, we can ensure the uninterrupt WAN connectivity in your deployment. At the same time, they also support VPN like IPSET, PPTP, L2TB, and even GRE, which offers secure connectivity to all the connected IoT devices. Again, with FOTA firmware upgrade over the air, we ensure our end to end devices firmware always up to date. You don't even have to be right beside your device to perform a firmware upgrade, which saves a lot of time and money. Dealing also offer cloud management for end-to-end -end devices. Using our Dealing Edge Cloud Server, you can configure, monitor, upgrade all your end-to-end -end devices located at different locations or even worldwide. For more information, you can always visit our website www.dealing.com.sg. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.